Absolutely. So this uh, presentation is for BC-based investors and BC-based companies that are raising uh, funds. So just a quick show of hands, how many people have heard of the EBC program? Okay, great. So, so, so nice to be here amongst uh, people that know the program, that use the program, uh, that companies that benefit from the program. Uh, so thank you, Frank, for inviting me. Um, as Frank said, I'm a uh, portfolio manager with the investment capital branch. Uh, we're within the Ministry of Jobs, Trade and Technology. Our mandate is to help small businesses raise capital. So we do that uh, through numerous ways. Uh, one is um, Crown Corporations. Um, we also um, have the BC Tech Fund uh, and we have tax credits. So today I'm gonna talk about the EBC program, which is a, a tax credit program. All right, well, I'll just continue as, uh, as we get the slide going. So um, the next slide is a, it's a graph. It's essentially showing the life cycle of a typical startup. Um, so as uh, in startup, and there it is. So I, idea and startup phase, um, businesses have typically have no revenue, have no cash flow. So uh, they're in need of capital to get the business off the ground. Uh, they don't need uh, a high amount of capital, but that capital is very high risk capital. As the business develops and gets into development and growth phase, they require a whole lot more capital um, and uh, this is where our BC Tech Fund and Crown Corporations get involved in the series A, B, C, D rounds, uh, much larger rounds, and yeah, risk has been uh, somewhat managed by this point. There's usually some product traction or uh, some proven technology uh, at this point. If the business gets to maturity phase, then traditional forms of financing uh, kick in and the business is hopefully bankable by then. But uh, as you can see, so today I'm talking about the tax credit program, which is focused on uh, startup uh, businesses, uh, which is very high risk, uh, high risk business at this point. So the program, it offers a 30% refundable tax credit. Uh, the refundable nature for individuals is a very powerful incentive. Uh, we find um, investors, angel investors, typically at this point, uh, the investors are employees, their family and friends, or their angel investors. So that refundable tax credit gets them in the market um, and enables them to uh, leverage their risk and hopefully that 30% ends up going back in the same company or other companies in the ecosystem. The trade-off for the 30% credit is investors must hold their investment for five years. So we always tell our EBCs, tell your investors that you get the credit, but you also have to hold your, your investment. So our program is a $38.5 million program. Uh, we strive to utilize the program. Uh, if the program is fully utilized, it's considered a, a success. Uh, that way we can go out and get increases to the program. So as you can see in the last 10 years, we've had three uh, increases, one in 2012, uh, one in 2016, and another one in 2017. So th the blue bar is our budget, uh, the dark blue bar is the actual credits claimed. So those Credits, if we fully utilize the program, those credits translate into $120 million into the BC venture capital ecosystem. You can see the cyclical nature there. 2009-2010 uh, was the dip after the recession. 2015-16 um, and 17 were basically record years. Um, we're still trying to figure out what happened in 2018. Uh, we think that's because we moved our budgets around. Um, we expect 2019 to be similar to 2017. So the clean tech category of the 38.5 million, uh, 7.5 million is dedicated to clean tech. Uh, that's roughly 20% of the program. If we include ag tech and other uh, subsectors of clean tech is probably between 20 and 30 percent of the program. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, all sorts of subsectors. Uh, what we've been seeing a lot of lately is the carbon recapture technologies. 
have been raising a lot of money. Um, we have ag tech and uh, the energy efficiency and smart grid technologies been also raising a lot. Clean transportation and energy production are kind of staples of the program and uh, are very lumpy. So one year we'll see a lot of investment, the next year uh, not so much. And so, so we see lumpy investment in those categories. A few quick examples. There's many great examples in the room. And I think just about all the uh, companies that are presenting today are involved with our program. But um, a couple examples, GPAC takes plant-based materials and uh, makes uh, consumer packaging products. So they've developed the little coffee pods. Uh, so it's a great idea and we're looking for success there. Carbon engineering. Uh, don't ask me how they do what they do, but they're taking carbon from the atmosphere and turning that into fuel. So very uh, complicated process, uh, but it sounds great. Um, Daya Foods, you guys probably have heard of them. They're your classic success story. Um, Plant-based foods uh, were enrolled in the program for several years, raised lots of uh, money, EBC money, and had their great exit in 2017. Uh, Clear Renewables is a new uh, registrant in the EBC program. So this, these are renewable energy experts combined with software engineers, software developers uh, to come up with energy efficiencies in the wind energy space. So that's my presentation. Uh, my contact information is there. Please don't hesitate to contact me or ask me questions later on in the conference. So at this point, I'll pass back to Tom.